Should you skip breakfast? Wow, what a question that is, given that we've all been grown up to believe that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You might have heard of a new trend in health magazines and online called intermittent fasting. Now, intermittent fasting is not so much of a diet, but more of a pattern of eating. And it's essentially where you go through a period of the day where you don't eat any food, which is the fasting period, and then you move into the period where you are eating food. There are four main reasons why the experts claim that intermittent fasting is a superior pattern of eating. Number one, during the fasting periods, your insulin levels remain quite low and this potentially could help with your body's ability to burn body fat. Number two, it's possible that in the fasting periods you get a release of growth hormone and growth hormone potentially also contributes to your body's ability to burn fat as well as keeping muscles and tendons and joints healthy. Number three, it's possible that during intermittent fasting your body's ability to go through cellular repair is enhanced which has lots of positive effects on the body. And number four, there might be some positive effects on gene expression. So there's a whole raft of reasons why potentially intermittent fasting might be a good thing. But the one thing that we know is that it's not necessarily a good thing for everybody. There are particular people out there that would be more suited to intermittent fasting. And this is the type of information that we understand and can take from knowing your DNA results. Based on your DNA, we can actually look at genes that give us information about your metabolic efficiency, about how well you utilize various macronutrients. And believe it or not, this actually drives our ability to predict whether you would or wouldn't be somebody who suits intermittent fasting. If I use myself as an example, I'm actually somebody who could benefit from intermittent fasting. And in fact, I do benefit from intermittent fasting. I have a fast metabolism, but what a fast metabolism means is that I don't actually store energy particularly well. Therefore, if I have goals in the gym, for example, of building muscle or burning body fat or improving performance, it's incredibly important that I focus my calorie intake or energy intake before and after my workout. This makes intermittent fasting a really good diet pattern or eating pattern for me because it means all my energy intake is focused to the right times to ensure that I do get the best results possible in the gym. We look at a number of genes that give us information about whether or not you would or wouldn't be suited to intermittent fasting. Genes such as the UCP genes, the PPAR genes, or the PGC1A genes, all give us information towards a model that predicts whether or not you would be suited to intermittent fasting. Now I know that you've probably got loads of questions to ask me about this particular topic, so feel free to just drop those questions into the comments section below. If you'd like to know whether intermittent fasting is right for you, just head on over to fitnessgenes.com and you can pick up your Fitness Genes DNA test there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll be sure to keep this content coming.